Alright, right, so this is station Battlestar Galactica. Right. So we have a read sensor. What does it do? The basic purpose it, is this read sensor will detect the part and then we'll we'll turn on the conveyor belt. So the basic purpose of this is to sort. We have three different types of, of possible uh, pucks. We have a black one, an orange one, and uh, one made out of aluminum. So the basic operation of this is merely to sort which type of puck it is, and we have three different chutes, and it will automatically direct the puck to the proper chute. So it's basically a, it's a sorter, so that you can get all, all light products within the same chute. That's it. Does everyone understand how their station works? Okay. Do you want to move to your um, systems diagram? Sure. All right. Uh, system Why don't you, what, it's up to you. Do you want to talk about your sequential chart? Sequential first. Sure. Okay. Sequential. And first, power is on, and the read sensor senses that a puck's present, and we'll turn on the conveyor belt. And the pump will move on, and it'll go to another read sensor where, where it'll do a zero one for a puck present. No, no lights will turn on if it's black. Uh, zero one and twelve will turn on if it's white, and only twelve will turn on if it's orange. And then it'll activate the proper gate and retract the stop. Okay, let me let me ask you guys a question. How does how does the sensor? How many sensors are at the start of the conveyor? At the start of the conveyor. So Three sensors. Part, and they, these are light sensors, and one of them is a magnetic sensor. Okay. So you have a parts present that tells the system we're ready to go. We have a part to sort, and it kind of starts. It starts its loop. Then you have a color sensor, or really it's a photo sensor in this case, and that will detect the amount of light return, so it can determine whether or not it's a, it's a black object or it's a silver or orange. And then you also have a magnetic sensor, which can tell the system that it's, it's metallic. Okay. Present. As well, okay. Right. And then it'll retract the stopping piston and it'll go down the, sh the conveyor belt and it'll go down the right chute. And at each chute, it has a, a sensor so that it can tell that a uh, puck has fallen in. And it'll stop the conveyor belt and restart. Now, is it, is it, is it that there's one sensor on each chute or is there one sensor that crosses all the chutes? Yes, there's only one sensor that crosses all. It's basically like a garage door sensor. Okay. It, senses and it senses any object that moves through, and that's a dual purpose sensor. It can both detect yeah. when an object enters the chute to restart the cycle, and it can also detect when a chute is full to stop. Okay, now I see where your chute sensor is there, and I see where your three chutes are. Right. Now, this that chute, I'm, I'm guessing there's something else missing from the, for that chute. The, the chute sensor has, needs a reflective, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it does have another piece here to reflect in the back. And, okay. Uh, that is missing. So it's basically like your garage door. You got one uh, device on either side, shoots light to one side, bounces it off back to the sensor. When you tr when you get something in the path of the beam, it breaks it and it knows that something's there. Okay. So basically, uh, just like our sequential diagram here, you have a part present sensor. That's the beginning of the cycle. This stopping piston should be extended at the beginning of the cycle. Um, so then it stops here at these two sensors, and then you have your color sensor and your magnetic sensor. And based on the uh, combination of which one of those trips, it determines which puck it is. Then your conveyor belt, which is already on, um, keeps on moving. After it senses which type of puck it is, it simultaneously retracts the piston, which is holding the puck here, and activates one of these two gates. Or none. Um, or none. That's true, yeah, because you have three chutes. So you only have two gates because there's, there's already a permanent gate here. Um, you, have, you also have read sensors on each of the gates to determine where the gate position is. And then, so let's say it's a uh, orange puck. It knows it's orange with these sensors, moves forward. This gate will trip after simultaneously letting the puck pass. The puck will, uh, sometimes it binds up here, which is why the shoot sensor is here, because it sometimes takes a little bit longer for it to move from the conveyor.